Hey YouTube, new comic book day, September 4th, 2019. Stick around. All right, everyone, this is the segment. I'm gonna mix things up a little bit this Wednesday and we're gonna go after the top $20 picks first. So this is the segment where if you only had $20 going to a new comic book store, these are the books I would get. You only get four books. The first one, you get Absolute Carnage Scream number two. This is a $3.99 price point. It's a continuation of the Absolute Carnage storyline. It is a really cool story. I did like the book. I was at, I did have a chance to read it today. It's pretty entertaining. The next one I get is Absolute Carnage Symbiote Spider-Man. This one is $4.99. The Symbiote Spider-Man story just wrapped up, but this one just started, and I think it's just a one-shot, to be honest, and it's got a higher price point, but I'm pretty excited about it nonetheless, hoping it's pretty good. The third book I get, Immortal Hulk number 23. This has one of, been one of the highest reviewed comics out there right now, and I'm putting this in my top four for the $20 picks. And the last pick is an issue number one that came out today. This is Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy number one. This is the Art Germ Harley Quinn variant. Now another gorgeous variant came out with the Poison Ivy on it, the other side of this cover, the connecting cover. And I picked that one up too, but this one, if you have a chance to only get one, I suggest the Harley Quinn book. Can never go wrong with Harley Quinn. So with that, that's my top $20. If you only had $20 to spend, that's what I would get. Now the other books I picked up start with Independence. This is Rick and Morty Presents. These come out quarterly. So today is the Flesh Curtains with Rick, Birdman, and Squanchy. And these are really fun to read and I got high hopes for it. I'm hoping it's a pretty good one. Be pretty tough to follow up Mr. Meeseeks from last quarter. On to DC, here is that other Archerm cover for Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy number one. This is the Poison Ivy variant, the connecting cover. Really good looking cover there. And hopefully the story follows it up. Next, Harley Quinn number 65. This is just a really fun series to read. It's very weird, very different, but she's a fun character and I don't know, just something fun to collect. On to the Marvel books I got now. First one I got is Web of Black Widow, number one. I've never read a Black Widow comic. And with the movie coming out next spring, we're gonna give this one a shot and see how it goes. Next up, Ghost Spider, annual number one. Now what's funny about this is last week was Ghost Spider number one. Maybe that was two weeks ago. And they've already got an annual out now. So if you ask me, I think that's a money grab on Marvel's standpoint. Whoops. But, oh well, it was part of my pull, so I got it. That glare off there for you. There we go. And the last book I got, Old Man Quill, number nine. This is just a fun read. I really like Peter Quill, and this is the alternate storyline of him in the future as an old man. It's pretty entertaining. I like it. Um, it's not the most popular book out there, but that's the fun thing about comics is everybody just gets what they get, and you get what you like, and don't worry about what anybody else thinks. So I hope everyone enjoyed the new comic book day. If you got a chance, go out and pick out some of those books, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.